Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant QNT hardly moving at all at the moment. Um, it is still in this range that we identified, yeah. And as long as something is bound in a range, it can obviously swing around in that range. Um, but I think soon we are going to see a decision moment here. We want to talk about what is my preference here and what are the possibility that the market has at the moment. Um, the view is still unchanged that this was a wave one, you know, we made it down in wave two, the wave two, in my opinion, still ongoing. And then there should be a wave three to the upside afterwards into the region of maybe $400 or just below $400. Um, important to understand is that in this wave two correction, we have two main scenarios. We have one where uh, that is actually my primary scenario where we came down in an A wave. We moved basically sideways in this triangle in a B and then we came down. We are still coming down in the C wave. The C wave is a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. And my primary expectation is that we still see one more low. The reason is that this sideways movement could be called a bear flag. Um, that's not the only reason. Um, it's also because we haven't really seen any bullish impulses since the low that was made here on the 14th of November. And um, yeah, actually this can be counted quite nicely as a corrective wave pattern, a wave four, which would still come down in the fifth wave. So we might've already peaked here in a wave four. Um, explained in a previous video where we, the, the resistance area that we reached there, yeah, that was really only the perfect retracement of a wave three and at the same time, a perfect wave four target, the 38.2% FIB level. You know, price respected that, you know, the, the chart did respect that FIB level. Um, at the same time, it was this resistance here, the, the previous swing high. And yeah, this is a resistance area that we now need to overcome. and. Unless we get above that level, my view will be focused on the downside. There is one more level, which is the $140 level. If we get above that level, I would consider that something more bullish is going on because of course there is a bullish scenario as well. It's just not my primary expectation. The primary expectation is down. My view is that the, um, the chart just adheres better to it. Yeah? it. It's better in terms of the proportions and so on. So let's take a look at um, if, if this really was a wave four high, you know, you can see we peaked in a wave Y of four, uh, very simple or nice chart here from the wave three low. You can see we had a wave three here and then came down lower. That's not a problem. I understand this as a um, A wave, a B wave and a C wave in wave W. Then we had here in a wave X, ABC, and then here as well, ABC in wave Y. We are then now coming down in a five wave move in wave C of um, no in wave five of C of two. Here we had five waves down one, two, three, four, five in wave one. We probably retrace currently in a wave two and would move next down in a wave three. Very shortly, we should see an explosive move down. If we don't, it would rather confirm a possible bullish scenario. Uh, this is at the moment an ideal place or time or moment to turn around to the downside because we've reached a key resistance area here. We had resistance here, had resistance here, had resistance here and here in that region at this 125 US dollar level. So we're here again. Yeah. Going above that could take us all the way up to $132 where we've got the next decision point. So either we turn around here or I would say if we push above this level, then at 132, sort of this resistance range. If we push above this level, then we need to watch the $140 level and above that level, I would confirm that the low has been made. But at the moment, my view is this is just a wave two retracement. It's not just the uh, resistance here. This is also currently the area which is ideal for a wave two retracement between the 50% and the 61.8% retracement level. So it's a perfect time to turn around now in a wave three. If we did that, what would be the target for the third wave? The target would be $93, basically the 1.618 extension uh, for this wave three. And then it would still be a four and five happening. So yeah, we could, we could really reach this. Oops, didn't want to do that. We could really reach here the lower half of this um, support box. Yeah. 
So that's uh, my view. When would we confirm a breakout to the downside? Well, it would be if we break below the low of the wave one there at $113.40. So I already explained basically the bullish count. Don't really need to go into that in too much detail. It's not my primary expectation. The bullish count um, would assume that here we had a um, an, uh, a leading diagonal. We're currently coming down in two. And at some point here very shortly, we should maybe already now, yeah, maybe we're already now moving up and we would need to break these resistance levels that I mentioned. Then we can consider something more bullish. But at the moment, due to the overlaps here, the very corrective price action, the choppy price action. I'm still looking for one more low here. Um, yeah, that's my update about Quant. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.